Good morning, everyone. It's that time again for the daily Bitcoin and cryptocurrency news. It is uh, December 5th today. So today, no surprise, is another good update. Uh, if you look at market cap, we're above 350 billion. This is a record. I think last time we hit 350, came back down. Uh, now we're going back up. Uh, Bitcoin dominance is a little bit higher, 56%. That's fine, but you know, Bitcoin has been in the news a lot. Everyone's starting to ask me about it. Um, if you guys haven't checked this out, I'm gonna put this in the link, and this is kind of cool for me. So let me bring it up real quick. Maybe. I talked about this article, uh, International Business Times, which is a subsite of Newsweek, asked me to do a piece about my thoughts on Bitcoin and Bitcoin's price in 2018. And I wrote, this is my opinion, that Bitcoin can be as high as 150,000 by the end of December. And I've been saying this in my videos a lot, right? That I think that big institutional money is coming in. This will be the last year where Bitcoin is gonna be really affordable for the middle class, for normal folks. And I wrote a big piece about it. I'm gonna put this in the description. I'm gonna put this on Cryptos R Us. I haven't yet. I will. This is this is pretty pretty exciting thing for me. I mean, International Business Times is a big big site. A lot of people read this, and I've been getting a lot of feedback, uh, positive feedback about this. So I encourage you guys to check this out when you can. Um, Bitcoin went up above twelve thousand at one point. It, it came down a little bit, but at this point, it, it's go it, once it get past twelve thousand, we're just go keep going, right? Like I said. I think Bitcoin's going to end at 15,000, and that's conservative Conservative at this point. We're only in the first week. We're, we're, we just started first week, and we're almost at 12,000. So 15,000 is, that's taking into account that we might have another correction. So that's fine. Um, Ethereum, surprisingly, didn't move. Uh, Ethereum, you know, I mentioned yesterday, I think, it came down. It didn't, it didn't go back up, but it's still holding. It good price. This is good for miners right now, to be honest. Anyone that's into Ethereum mining, um, they've been struggling for a long time because things were at 300 and mining, difficult, mining difficulty was high and GPUs were very high. Now GPUs have come down, like the RX uh, 580, which was like considered the best uh, before the Vega came out. Um, that was at in the 400s. Now you can get those in the high 200s. And they still you know hash really well so um and the ethereum has basically went up in price what 50 percent since the 300 so um anyone who's considering mining um it's probably it, it's actually a good time bitcoin cash didn't move ripple didn't move iota is still moving this this it's it's on fire above three look at this it's about to surpass ripple and market cap Okay, I, I didn't think this was coming anytime soon. Re remember, probably a week or two ago, Ripple Ripple was still you know about four billion off from Dash, and Dash was above IOTA, and IOTA just have just been on fire, and it's still going up. And and really, this is just due to the Microsoft partnership deal, which very little details was given in terms of what what the partnership entails and what is going on but people love it look at the volume above ethereum that's insane <laughs> um so good for iota um the tangle is definitely interesting um iota actually was founded by one of the original founders of next for those that that don't know um just interesting story next i think was one of the first coins that raised the ico only raised 21 bitcoins at the time and I think Bitcoin was a thousand dollars at a time, so they only raised twenty-one thousand dollars. And then, um, from what I hear, when the founder left to start IOTA, somehow that that twenty-one Bitcoin followed him. So he actually used that to to start IOTA. So interesting to a bit. Uh, Dash still not moving. I'm surprised. I expect Dash to be moving um, pretty shortly. Litecoin holding, holding Monero. Monero went up big amount. There was uh, news I found because of this. Now this is kind of silly to me, okay? Um, 45 musicians somehow decided 
to take Monero, and there's like some kind of discount given, okay? And um, this was part of a project called Coral Reef, okay? It, there's no nothing to it, right? So it's not like a special, a holiday special, or some kind of fundraising or anything like that. It's just that these 45 musicians decided to take Monero uh, as payment for their songs. Um, it's just kind of kind of funny that they said okay. They probably don't even they don't prop they probably don't even know what they signed up for, right? So it's probably whoever Project Reef. The, you know the the ones leading that project that uh, that convinced them to great but um, yeah that's what drove it up 21 percent um, or 24 percent I should say sorry and I guess good for Monero uh, Cardano is still holding strong it dropped a little bit but still holding strong at 13 um, let's see stellar Newmans is still going up um Amis go I like them they're above 10 Zcash I like them you know right around 330 they're still off from their highs of I think I think they touched 400 at one point and they came back down um there's some rumors about waves uh, you know waves and arc um they're kind of in the league of their own I should include Lisk in there okay Lisk waves arc kind of all came around the same time and they're they're a platform coin but they're also um i guess a gen a gen two and a half coin you know i mentioned or gen two and a half platform coin so i, I made a reference for ardor for gen three so gen one is basic bitcoin right any coins that's built off of bitcoin's core is gen one and really then most of them are currency based there are some that are not but mostly currency gen two is ethereum right when the introduction of smart contracts that's when you have apps and stuff like that coming out generation two and a half is a little weird so arc waves and list they came out with their own blockchain and they they kind of bundled in a little bit um of their ecosystem so arc is they're trying to introduce smart bridging so they have they have like um, other features set up that works with arc but also they want to do smart bridging so that they can integrate um, other blockchains within their blockchain so right now i think the biggest thing they're working on is trying to integrate ethereum um, and making that work with smart bridging so they can utilize ethereum's uh, smart contracts um, so arc has their own thing that they're trying to do and they're trying to bundle that up into their own ecosystem waves is kind of the same thing um they they just said forget smart bridging so they have they have their own um cloning thing so they they you can basically clone whatever you could clone waves and create your own coin very easily they also has a decentralized exchange but it's it's using proxy tokens to kind of exchange uh, coins which is kind of weird but they kind of have their own ecosystem too and when you make a side it's not making a side chain you're making you're cloning a chain but the clone chain could talk to the original chain which is waves and they're kind of doing their own thing and list kind of does this, the same thing too they have their own ecosystem their own platform based on javascript so they're kind of like generation two and a half and i don't know where it goes from there because right now you got generation three is coming out soon, right? So you got Ardor, and then you got uh, EOS and Cardano, and these are generation three coins that have all the advantages of generation two. Obviously, they can handle their own smart contract. They could do in a fashion that's a lot more efficient because of these off chain, child chain, side chains, whatever you call it, right? And they're able to do a lot more. And they build in everything from scalability, security, privacy. Um, they build it all in there. So generation three coins are coming out soon. So overall generation two and a half coins like Arc, List, Waves, you don't see many, much adoption on them just yet. And the problem is when generation three comes out and all the new coins are being built on generation two, who's still going to be using generation two and a half? That's the problem I have with these coins. Even though they're, they're still potential, they're still building it out. You know, obviously it's tradable and they're, they're still going up in value. But, you know, long-term future, when I say long-term, maybe year, two, three, five years out, 
I don't I don't know what they can do to compete with these new ones. Um, yeah, so that's my rant about those three coins. Um, Stratus. Stratus has gone up a little bit. I, I, I don't remember if I mentioned them, but they have a couple things in their roadmap for December. And I, I was surprised because they were hovering the five high fives. And I thought, oh, whatever was in the roadmap was already discussed. No one really cares. And all of a sudden it jumps out. So that's the reason for Stratus going up. It says 5%, but it's really more like 30 or 40%. So some of these calculations uh, is not accurate based on the timing and stuff. So Mona coin, you know, I was surprised yesterday and it, it just, it's not stopping. The, the, this thing, I, I don't know how high this will go. Maybe it reaches a billion. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know. There's no basis for this climb. Uh, it's just people are excited about Mona coin for whatever reason. It's on a tremendous pump. It's supposedly popular in Japan, but I'm getting conflicted, con, conflicting reports because some people say it's very popular. It's used in a lot of you know shops in Japan, and other people say no, they they don't they don't even know about it, right? So I don't I don't know what to think. Uh, I just know that it's going up. It's going up a lot. Um, Ardor, I'm you know did a big thing about them. Um, I love Ardor. I think they're the first you know their goal. They're a first generation three coin. I'm not going give my whole spiel about Ardor again but they're gonna have like a six to 12 months advantage over the other generation three coins and um and they're backed by a team that knows what they're doing so i like uh i like Ardor. um going down i mentioned arc you know um next you know they, they've been on a tremendous pump and i mentioned them a couple times i'm starting to feel like 50 was their cap and now it's starting to slowly trend down i'm not sure if next will be pumped anymore um so just keep that in mind those who have held on next for this tremendous pump you might want to think about getting out soon vert coin just like mona coin is it's just it's just insane we're almost at ten dollars we're almost we're at a 900 percent gain probably at 10,000 gains soon um and this is all because of the block having and and um uh, i don't i don't get it but you know it's even at ten dollars we're probably right around 400 million market cap so this is what i like to do a lot i kind of compare this to the rest of the industry and if mona could be at 600 there's no reason why vertcoin can't be at 600 right because if if you look at Litecoin, which is what Vertcoin is going after, is at five billion. You got a long way to go, right? So, Vertcoin theoretically can go much higher. I just don't know if it will, and it's too dangerous to get in at nine, because right after the having, this can drop down to five dollars, and you don't want to be holding on to Vertcoin at nine when it drops down to five. I'm not saying it'll happen, but it could. So, um, at this point, all you can do is watch it. Going down, uh, yeah, you know, Dodge Coin I mentioned a couple times is kind of like Mona Coin, but no one uses Dodge Coin, that's why it's not going up. Uh, Einsteinium is breaking out a little bit again. It's held in the 80 cent mark. I mean, it went up like 400%, so. It, you know, it held around the 80s mark, and today it kind of jumped up again. Um, basic attention coin, yeah, I mentioned them a lot. I said, hey, I think this coin is really undervalued because of uh, Brandon Ike, who is the founder of JavaScript. I mean, how can you go against the founder of JavaScript and Firefox, okay? You can't. So uh, they finally got up to the 20s. I mean, they were hovering in the 13s, 15s for a long time. Finally, they're back up in the 20s. This coin is so undervalued, and the reason why I'm not more bullish on this is because people just don't see it. The Opera, uh, it's not Opera, a Brave browser, I'm sorry, is already operational. You can download on iOS, Android, on your computer. It's a full-fledged browser, super lightweight. It blocks everything. It blocks ads. It blocks any kind of cookie tracking and all that stuff. And they're ready to release their next phase, which is to um, reward publishers. So, I mean, they're they're hitting everything they want to do. Next step is to get advertisers involved. So they already have a working product that people can use. Okay, and look at who is the creator and founder of this. Someone that 
I, you know, I, I don't have to, you know, give his uh, background, but it's someone that's just brilliant. And this is only worth 200 million. I mean, come on, 200, 200 million versus what, what can I pick up here? Um, I, you know, I, I, you know, people might not like it, but I, I'll just say Arc, okay, or Vertcoin, right? Arc, I, I don't see anyone using Arc, okay, in the real world, okay. I'm just gonna say real world, okay. I'm sure there's people in the crypto world that use it, but real world, what what application, what what anything is being used that's powered by Arc, okay? If you could name one, I'll be very surprised. And same thing with Vertcoin. How many transactions in everyone's daily lives actually is being conducted in Vertcoin? If you say more than one, I'll be surprised too. Now, if you, I'm sure, I'll do some research. If you look at how many people in the real, real world is using a Brave browser, there's more than one, and I'll, I'll bet you anything on that. It's probably in the tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, and that's something. It's something that's actually out and being used, okay? It's a finished product. Now, the whole platform that what he wants to do is not done, but at least there's parts of it that's done. And this being at 200 million is like a slap in the face when some of these other coins just simply don't have anything or don't have any kind of adoption rate. So that's all I'll say about that. Um, I don't think I mentioned Kyber. I actually got done uh, researching uh, Kyber is interesting. It's uh, basically they want to be a a bank of cryptos they want to make it they're they're trying to come out of the exchange where you can buy and sell your crypto without anyone else on the other end needing it so right now as you know on any exchange bitrix um uh, even coinbase right or binance when you buy and sell something it's it's because someone else on the other end is paying for that so if you put in, you want to sell Bitcoin at 11, 12,000, someone on the opposite end already put in an order saying that they want it at 12,000. You happen to do it and then it lines up and that's how it sells. If there was no one on the other end, you wouldn't be able to sell it. So Kyber is trying to fix that saying, well, you know what? We're a bank, basically. We need reserves. We'll always buy yours or we'll always sell yours as long as we have it. And they're gonna charge obviously a up fee or some kind of fee to to make up for it, um, and that's their idea. Um, so they're gonna make it so that they're gonna come out the universal wallet. Obviously, probably the wallet matching the coins that they plan on storing, and then they're gonna buy a ton of coins and just store it and buy and buy and sell um, by doing that. It's an interesting concept. I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, because it's you know coins are so volatile I, you know i don't know how much it can buy and sell and store you know let's go work out but that's what kyber network is <sighs> raiden um it kind of hit a low of 310s 320s and now it's coming back up i think raiden is really undervalued i think you know i mentioned them a couple of times um uh monaco went up huge i think over a hundred percent um the last day and i forget the reason why but they've been they, they weren't even in the top 100 okay up until yesterday and they they jumped up huge i think it has something to do with they they, they got some kind of licensing or approved or some kind of card was released finally um, I'm going to do more research. I apologize. I should have done it before creating this video, but just know that they're a competitor to 10x, right? So even at 145 million, 10x is at 271. Many feel like they're comparable to each other. So um, Monaco can go up more, but um, I'm going to have to do more research on that. Blocknet at 25, you know, like I mentioned, it should it should go up to 30. Now, whether or not it, it exceeds 30 is a different story. Um, storage above one, really good for them. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Some of these have been um, some of these coins, not some. Most of these coins have been just 
on fire recently. So I'm going to try to cover more more coins. I know in these videos I, I tend to cover the coins I really like and know. Um, but as you know, there, there's hundreds of thousands of coins. There's 1,300 coins, right? So it's going to take some time to go through all them all. But I'll, I'll try to mention different coins from now on uh, on these videos. And th that's pretty much it. Um, let's refresh. See if we're above 12,000. No, it's still there. All right. So um, not much has changed since yesterday. Another good day. I mentioned last week December is usually a good month um, in the in the stock exchange world December is a month where all the stocks usually see a 10 20 30 percent gain in the crypto world is probably a lot more than that as we saw some of these coins have jumped up 300 500 a thousand percent within a month so December should be no different there should be a lot of coins that that will be on the uptrend um, Bitcoin especially too, um, seeing that I, you know, it's at twelve thousand already. It'll probably pass fifteen thousand before the end of the year. Um, yeah, and that's it. You know, I know a lot. I got a lot of um, a lot of views on my yesterday's video. A lot of people joined Insider, um, and a lot more people to uh, Cryptos or Us, and especially. And I was, and uh, I got this article posted, so I, I'm I'm pretty happy. I think things are going very well. I think those that are watching this is also um, feeling very happy. Um, these overall, the market is just awesome. And hopefully you guys are learning a lot from me as well. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Um, I don't think I have to say this. Everyone on YouTube says this. Like, oh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that bell button. I think by now you, you guys should know that. <laughs> if you like it, subscribe. If you don't, don't. Um, but I'll just say it one last time. If you like what you're seeing, you like me, you like these videos, please subscribe so you don't miss out. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Perk, Waves, and List, they came out with their own blockchain. And they they kind of bundled in a little bit um, of their ecosystem. So Arc is they're trying to introduce smart bridging so they have they have like um, other features set up that works with arc but also they want to do smart bridging so that they can integrate um, other blockchains within their blockchain so right now i think the biggest thing they're working on is trying to integrate ethereum um, and making that work with smart bridging so they can utilize ethereum's uh, smart contracts um, so arc has their own thing that they're trying to do and they're trying to bundle that up into their own ecosystem waves is kind of the same thing um they they just said forget smart bridging so they have they have their own um cloning thing so they they you can basically clone whatever you could clone waves and create your own coin very easily they also has a decentralized exchange but it's it's using proxy tokens to kind of exchange uh, coins which is kind of weird but they kind of have their own ecosystem too and when you make a site it's not making a side chain you're making you're cloning a chain but the clone chain could talk to the original chain which is waves and they're kind of doing their own thing and list kind of does this, the same thing too they have their own ecosystem their own platform based on javascript so they're kind of like generation two and a half and i don't know where it goes from there because right now you got generation three is coming out soon, right? So you got Ardor, and then you got uh, EOS and Cardano, and these are generation three coins that have all the advantages of generation two. Obviously, they can handle their own smart contracts. They could do in a fashion that's a lot more efficient because of these off-chain, child-chain, side-chains, whatever you call it, right? And they're able to do a lot more, and they build in everything from scalability, security, privacy, um, they build it all in there. So generation three coins are coming out soon. So overall generation two and a half coins like Arc, List, Waves, you don't see many, much adoption on them just yet. And the problem is when generation three comes out and all the new coins are being built on generation two, who's still gonna be using generation two and a half? That's the problem I have with these coins. Even though they're, they're still potential, they're still building it out. You know, obviously it's tradable and they're, they're still going up in value. But, you know, long-term future, when I say long-term, maybe year, two, three, five years out, I don't, I don't know what they can do to compete with these new ones. Um, 
yeah so that's my rant about those three coins um stratus stratus has gone up a little bit I, I i don't remember if i mentioned them but they have a couple things in their roadmap for december and i, I was surprised because they were hovering the five high fives and i thought oh so i, I made a reference for ardor for gen 3. so gen 1 is basic bitcoin right any coins that's built off of bitcoin's core is gen one and really then most of them are currency based there are some that are not but mostly currency gen two is ethereum right when the introduction of smart contracts that's when you have apps and stuff like that coming out generation two and a half is a little weird so arc waves and list they came out with their own blockchain and they they kind of bundled in a little bit um of their ecosystem so arc is they're trying to introduce smart bridging so they have they have like um, other features set up that works with arc but also they want to do smart bridging so that they can integrate um, other blockchains within their blockchain so right now i think the biggest thing they're working on is trying to integrate ethereum um, and making that work with smart bridging so they can utilize ethereum's uh, smart contracts um, so arc has their own thing that they're trying to do and they're trying to bundle that up into their own ecosystem waves is kind of the same thing um they they just said forget smart bridging so they have they have their own um cloning thing so they they you can basically clone whatever you could clone waves and create your own coin very easily they also has a decentralized exchange but it's it's using proxy tokens to kind of exchange uh, coins which is kind of weird but they kind of have their own ecosystem too and when you make a side it's not making a side chain you're making you're cloning a chain but the clone chain could talk to the original chain which is waves and they're kind of doing their own thing and list kind of does this, the same thing too they have their own ecosystem their own platform based on javascript so they're kind of like generation two and a half and i don't know where it goes from there because right now you got generation three is coming out soon, right? So you got Ardor and then you got uh, EOS and Cardano. And these are generation three coins that have all the advantages of generation two. Obviously they can handle their own smart contract. They could do in a fashion that's a lot more efficient because of these off chain, child chain, side chains, whatever you call it, right? And they're able to do a lot more and they build in everything from scalability, security, privacy, um, they build it all in there. So generation three coins are coming out soon. So overall generation two and a half coins like arc list waves, you don't see many, much adoption on them just yet. And the problem is when generation three comes out and all the new coins are being built on generation two, who's still going to be using generation two and a half. That's the problem I have with these coins, even though they're, they're still potential, they're still building it out. You know, obviously it's tradable and they're, they're still going up in value, but you know, long-term fees insane. <laughs> um, so good for IOTA. Um, the tangle is definitely interesting. Um, IOTA actually was founded by one of the original founders of next for those that, that don't know. Um, just interesting story next i think was one of the first coins that raised the ico only raised 21 bitcoins at the time and i think bitcoin was a thousand dollars at the time so they only raised twenty one thousand dollars and then um from what i hear when the founder left to start iota somehow that that 21 bitcoin followed him so he actually used that to to start iota so interesting to a bit uh dash Still not moving, I'm surprised. I expect Dash to be moving um, pretty shortly. Litecoin holding, holding Monero. Monero went up big amount. There was uh, news I found because of this. Now this is kind of silly to me, okay? Um, 45 musicians somehow decided to take Monero and th there's like some kind of discount given, okay? And um, this was part of the project called coral reef okay it there's no nothing to it right so it's not like a special a holiday special or some kind of fundraising or anything like that it's just that these 45 musicians decided to take monero uh, as payment for their songs um it's just kind of kind of funny that they said okay they probably don't even they don't even Pro they probably don't even know what they signed up for, right? So it's probably whoever Project Reef, 
the, the you know the the ones leading that project that uh, that convinced them to great but um yeah that's what drove it up 21 percent um or 24 percent i should say sorry and i guess good for monero uh cardano is still holding strong dropped a little bit but still holding strong at 13 um let's see Stellar Newman's is still going up. Um, Ami's go, I like them. They're above ten. Zcash, I like them. You know, right around three thirty. They're still off from their highs of, I think. I think they touched four hundred at one point, and they came back down. Um, there's some rumors about Waves. Uh, you know, Waves and Arc. Um, they're kind of in the league of their own. I should include Lisk in there. Okay. Lisk, Waves, Arc, kind of all came around the same time, and they're they're a platform coin, but they're also, um, I guess, a gen a gen two and a half coin. You know, I mentioned or gen two and a half platform coin. So I, I made a reference for Ardor. For, I mentioned yesterday, I think it came down, and then it didn't go back up, but it's still holding. Good price. This is good for miners right now, to be honest. Anyone that's into Ethereum mining, um, they've been struggling for a long time because things were at 300 and mining, difficult, mining difficulty was high and GPUs were very high. Now GPUs have come down, like the RX uh, 580, which was like considered the best uh, before the Vega came out. Um, that was at in the 400s. Now you can get those in the high 200s. And they still you know hash really well so um and the ethereum has basically went up in price what 50 percent since the 300 so um anyone who's considering mining um it's probably it's actually a good time bitcoin cash didn't move ripple didn't move iota is still moving this this it's it's on fire above three look at this it's about to surpass ripple and market cap Okay, I, I didn't think this was coming anytime soon. R remember, probably a week or two ago, Ripple Ripple was still you know about four billion off from Dash, and Dash was above IOTA, and IOTA just have just been on fire, and it's still going up. And and really, this is just due to the Microsoft partnership deal, which very little details was given in terms of what what the partnership entails and what is going on but people love it look at the volume above ethereum that's insane <laughs> um so good for iota um the tangle is definitely interesting um iota actually was founded by one of the original founders of next for those that that don't know um just interesting story next i think was one of the first coins that raised the ico only raised 21 bitcoins at the time and I think Bitcoin was a thousand dollars at the time, so they only raised twenty-one thousand dollars. And then, um, from what I hear, when the founder left to start IOTA, somehow that that twenty-one Bitcoin followed him. So he actually used that to to start IOTA. So interesting to a bit. Uh, Dash still not moving. I'm surprised. I expect Dash to be moving um, pretty shortly. Litecoin holding, holding Monero. Monero went up big amount. There was uh, news I found because of this. Now this is kind of silly to me. Okay, um, forty-five musicians somehow decided to take Monero, and th there's like some kind of discount given. Okay, and um, this was part of a project called Coral Reef. Okay. It, there's no nothing to it, right? So it's not like a special a holiday special or some kind of the Microsoft partnership deal, which very little details was given in terms of what what the partnership entails and what is going on. But people love it. Look at the volume above Ethereum. That's insane. <laughs> um, so good for IOTA. Um, the Tangle is definitely interesting. Um, IOTA actually was founded by one of the original founders of Next, for those that, that don't know. Um, just interesting story. Next, I think, was one of the first coins that raised the ICO, only raised 21 Bitcoins at the time. And I think Bitcoin was $1,000 at that time. So they only raised $21,000. And then, um, from what I hear, 
when the founder left to start IOTA, somehow that that 21 Bitcoin followed him. So he actually used that to, to start IOTA. So interesting to a bit. Uh, Dash, still not moving. I'm surprised. I expect Dash to be moving um, pretty shortly. Litecoin holding, holding Monero. Monero went up big amount. There was uh, news I found because of this. Now, this is kind of silly to me, okay? Um, 45 musicians somehow decided to take Monero, and there's like some kind of discount given, okay? And um, this was part of a project called Coral Reef, okay? It, there's no nothing to it, right? So it's not like a special, a holiday special, or some kind of fundraising or anything like that. It's just that these 45 musicians decided to take Monero uh, as payment for their songs. Um, it's just kind of kind of funny that they said okay. They probably don't even they don't prop they probably don't even know what they signed up for, right? So it's probably whoever Project Reef. The, you know the the ones leading that project that uh, that convinced them to great but um, yeah that's what drove it up 21 percent um, or 24 percent I should say sorry and I guess good for Monero uh, Cardano is still holding strong it dropped a little bit but still holding strong at 13 um, let's see stellar Newmans is still going up um Amis go I like them they're above 10 Zcash I like them you know right around 330 they're still off from their highs of I think I think they touched 400 at one point and they came back down um there's some rumors about waves uh, you know waves and arc um they're kind of in the league of their own I should include Lisk in there okay Lisk waves arc kind of all came around the same time and they're they're a platform coin but they're also um 